Good morning, all empathic, sensitive souls. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh, how did it go this week? My week was insane. The next two weeks are going to be even more insane. Talk about total chaos. It is, it, uh, it's just crazy. I had to cheer myself to get out of bed this morning. You can do this. You can get up. You got this. Come on. It's just get one. This is the last day of the week. You can do it. One more day. I just wanted to hit snooze. I just wanted to sleep. I was so tired this morning. But the cheering, it worked. I got up and I'm like, oh, well, I'm in a pretty good mood. I'm going to get ready to go to work. Woo! That. It sounds so silly. It is so simple to say cheerful things as I'm laying in bed instead of mumbling and grumbling about how the day is. I think it's going to go, which I don't even know yet. And it just put me in such a good mood. And I even didn't have coffee yet. Now that's amazing. And at work this week, I've had to keep cheering myself on because it has been insanity. And the next couple of weeks are going to be just as insane. I've got a couple coworkers gone all on the same day. I'm the last person. I'm left holding the bag. Okay, fine. I, I, whatever. The day will go as the day will go. I can't sit and worry about it and create scenarios in my head that it's going to be horrible. It may be the simplest, easiest, nicest day ever. I have to cheer myself on to keep thinking positive. I can do this. It's only one more day. It's only one more day. It's only one more day. And everybody is like, well, I can't believe you got to work so late. My philosophy is I'm making money. I'm not spending it. So that's a win-win for me. And the thing is, by being helpful and doing the work that needs to be done when we're short staffed shows my manager I'm a responsible person. I'm trustworthy. I can do the job. I have the knowledge. Does it get me a raise? Probably not, but it's in the back of their head. The next time something goes wrong, well, Denise knows she's not an idiot, right? That's my line of thinking. I'm hoping that it helps. Again, it's not going to advance my career any, but my career is stagnant anyways. There's no room for advancement. There's no place to move up to or grow to. Which is why I had to switch into the mindset of growing my own abilities, my own intuition, using what I learn to help others because I can't get the feedback and the acknowledgement and what I need to live happily from the workplace. And we shouldn't anyways. But helping others is what I've done my entire life. I've always been that go-to person. Hey, Denise, can you help? I've got this scenario. What would you do? What would you do? Or, you know, so-and-so's mad at me. I don't know, what did I do? Well, did you talk to him? Well, no. Do I have to be the mediator? Well, yeah. So I've always been that go-between. I've always been the helper. I've always been the, what I like to call the ambulance driver, because when anything goes wrong, I'm the one that stays calm in the situation, and I can drive the vehicle to the hospital. It's crazy. And then to think all these years I have been suffering at work being, <clears throat> excuse me, miserable. All I had to do was turn to myself, be my own cheerleader, talk my way through it, learn breath work, learn that I am more than good enough. It helps. And I know when you're down in the dumps and sad and melancholy and you're overwhelmed. It's hard to come up with positivity, especially in today's world where everything, and I mean everything, is negative. I remember they used to have the segment on the news that was positive things that would happen. They don't have that anymore. 
So I try to focus on positive because no one else does. I'm positively sure I'm going to love my coffee this morning. I love listening to dad jokes. They crack me up because they're so simple and funny. When my niece was in school, she would call me in the morning and we'd tell knock-knock jokes. And we would laugh and giggle after we said our mantras, of course. And it just made her day go that much better. She herself has become the helper. She's the one that stands between the bullies and the kids that are being bullied. She's the one that holds their hands when they cry. She's the one that they come to for support. And she's only eight. Imagine what she can become in this world if she's allowed to flourish and blossom with happiness and positivity. We have to put our hope in the children. I don't have children, and that's okay. But I have all sorts of nieces and nephews, and all great nieces and nephews. And I try to teach them. Be your own cheerleader. Cheer others on. Cheer yourself on. Even when you're overwhelmed, it's easier to focus on someone else. But don't forget, you're a someone too. You got this. Woohoo! It's Friday! One more day, eight hours, and I'm off for the weekend. It's supposed to be hot, it's supposed to be stormy. I gotta do some grocery shopping. I'll have sticker shop when I get to the grocery store. I know I will. But that's okay. Just another day. We can get through it. Cheer myself on. Did the cheering work for you? Did you try it? Did it help? If there's trials and tribulations that you're having trouble, trials, tribulations, and trouble. Ooh, I'm the T word today. If you need help getting over a snafu that's going on in your life and you're at your wits end let me know contact me I can help you that's my job I am an intuitive emotional healer I help process the emotions that make you feel stuck that you can't move forward and even cheering doesn't seem to help you need help let me know I'm here for you that's my job I hope everyone has a fantastic Friday that it goes smooth as butter Everything works to your best advantage and the day is perfection and that you have an awesome weekend. I will check in on Monday. Bye for now, everyone.